हेलो वेलकम टू माय स्टूडेंट सपोर्ट सिस्टम इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट फर्स्ट एड इन चौकी दिस लेक्चर इज इन इंग्लिश एंड इफ यू वांट टू स्टडी इन हिंदी जस्ट क्लिक ऑन आई बटन यू विल गेट द लिंक ऑफ वीडियो इन हिंदी एंड यू कैन आल्सो विजिट माय चैनल माय स्टूडेंट सपोर्ट सिस्टम सो वॉट इज चौकिंग चौकिंग अकर वेन breathing is stopped by a constricted or obstructed throat or windpipe in some cases the air flow is completely blocked in other cases some amount of air can pass to the lungs and causes asphyxia what are the causes of choking normally adults usually choke when swallowing food without chewing properly and laughing and talking while eating or drinking this happens especially in the parties being unconscious and breathing in vomit sometime if an unconscious patient vomits and it breathe in the vomitus then also choking occur children usually choke by placing objects in their mouth they normally do this out of curiosity however they may also choke when eating too quickly or when talking with food in their mouth what happens in choking how you will identify means what are the signs and symptoms of choking number 1 inability to speak the person will not able to speak or and no word will come out from his mouth difficulty in breathing noisy breathing or high pitched sound while inhaling weak and ineffective coughing means in this case a small pathway is there so some air is coming but it is with difficult typical posture of holding neck and mouth open this is a cardinal sign when you will see the patient in the parties holding his neck in this way and mouth open it means there is choking bluish skin color it means sinusitis loss of consciousness if it is not a uh, first aid is provided timely then the client may become unconscious what you will do in case of choking what first aid you will provide first of all ask the client are you choking can you speak or cough if he is able then no problem if he is not able then you will start first aid do not perform first aid if the person is coughing for coughing forcefully or able to speak a strong cough can dislodge the object encourage the person to keep coughing to dislodge the object it means if person is coughing then encourage him that do more coughing forceful coughing so that the object which is partially blocking the pathway that comes out if the person cannot speak or is having hard time breathing means not breathing just holding his mouth then what you will do we need to act fast and help the person we can perform two activities what are these back blows and abdominal thrust also known as hemlich maneuver first we will do back blows stand behind the person wrap one arm around to support the person's upper body like this and ask the person to lean forward and then by this situation tap on the back use the heel of your other hand give five sharp blow how many five between the person shoulder blades here and in case of children you will sit on the chair hold the baby like this especially in infants and tap here like this with the heel of your hand and after five blows you will check the object is dislodged or came out 
or not if yes then it is okay but if no then we will shift to second activity that is hamlic maneuver how we will do this stand behind the person like this wrap your arm around the person's waist like this make a fist we make fist like this in this way okay and with another hand we hold it like this okay this should be the position of our hands and now we stand behind the person holding this just below the diaphragm or we can say chest cavity lines then grasp firmly the fist with your other hand make a quick upward and backward thrust with your fist okay we will hold this and like this movement we will pull upward and backward okay so what will happen in this way the diaphragm will go up chest cavity will go inwards and the object which is in the uh, trachea will come out with the force in case of children we will sit like this so that we can properly hold the child and we can perform hamlic maneuver we will do this abdominal thrust five times or until the object is dislodged if in one time the object is dislodged then it's okay but we will continue to do if the object is not dislodged up to five time after five time we will check the object is dislodged or not if it is done then it is okay but if no then we will again perform back blows okay five times so this is known as five and five approach five back blow five abdominal thrust till the object comes out or the person loses consciousness okay if become consciousness unconscious then we have to shift our attention we will call for medical help dial 112 and or ask someone to dial 112 and explain the situation and then we will start cpr cardio pulmonary resuscitation the detail of cardio pulmonary resuscitation you can watch on my another uh, lecture you can just click on i button and you will get the link of bls basic life support and cpr training then we will try the Uh, shift the patient to hospital in an ambulance this is all about first aid in choke normally we are able to remove the object by these two systems back blows and hamlic maneuver thank you students you can visit my facebook page my student support system or you can visit blogger to make your notes my nursing students blogspot.com you can follow me on twitter on instagram and you can join my facebook group thank you